what's not quite right with the five deadly venoms? Quick, a yang! Hurry! The old man tries to cure illness by pouring boiling water on his dick. Master, do you realize how ridiculous this mission is? I want you to go to town to find your old schoolmates, even though I don't know who they are, and kill them if they're bad, even though you're not good enough to do that. So you must find one of them who isn't an asshole and team up with that guy to kill these people and do this after I'm dead so that my spirit may find peace. Are you out of your freaking mind? I'm not doing all that shit. Hawk! While much of the fight choreography is more sizzle than steak, combat-wise, this maneuver is a pure dance move that has no combat value whatsoever. And you thought Tom Hardy as Bane in The Dark Knight was difficult to listen to. No, listen. Number five is here. He has to catch number one. Do Does anyone mean? understand what the hell he's saying? Number five? He has to die. Otherwise, we're not safe. A big not quite right. How did Scorpion get darts on both sides of Toad's head simultaneously? A scorpion! So he's here as well. But where? Where? Poison Clan rocks the world. That's their secret code? That sounds like the slogan for an 80s hair band. Poison Clan rocks the world. Excellent! You are? I'm number four. Name's Yang Te, teacher's last pupil. Another not quite right? Lazy dubbing. Yang Te, the hybrid venom, introduces himself as number four. But he's the sixth student. I had five pupils. The five venoms are based on ancient Chinese folklore. Go to the construct. This is fascinating. The five venoms, or five poisons, refers to the five most toxic creatures in the minds of the ancient Chinese, generally referring to snakes, scorpions, centipedes, toads, and geckos, collectively. The folklore goes that during the fifth month of the lunar calendar, the weather gradually becomes hot, the rainy season is heavy, and the miasma gas increases sharply. This kind of climate is easy to make people feel uncomfortable, and it's also easy to breed various disease-causing bacteria that make people ill. Snakes, scorpions, centipedes, and other creatures that grow in moist, dark environments proliferate and increase in activity. For this reason, the fifth month is not only regarded as a poisonous month, but May is considered the most evil month. Legend has it that evil is in power on May 5th, when the five poisons come out together and there are many taboos. To combat the evil, in some places, pictures of snakes, scorpions, centipede, toads, and geckos cut in scarlet letters are pasted on doors, walls, and windows of homes. There is also the custom of eating five poisonous cakes, which is to put a stamp of the image of the five poisonous animals on the cake. There are also cakes of different colors, which have the meaning of eating the five poisons so that they no longer make people sick. The Dragon Boat Festival in China is supposed to ward off evil spirits. And there is a folk custom of using Rialgar to draw the character of King on children's foreheads. One is to repel poisonous insects, and the other is to use tigers to suppress evil. The King character is like a tiger's forehead. In many eastern countries, the tiger often takes the role of king of the beasts. The tiger is also associated with the earth, king of earthly beasts. And the dragon is associated with the heavens, king of mythical beasts. But of the original five poisons, the gecko isn't very toxic. Most geckos, particularly in China's rural regions, are non-poisonous. So in some stories, spiders replace geckos. A big reason geckos may have been included is because the ancient Chinese had standards for judging the five poisons. Toxicity is one aspect, and the other aspect is to be able to be used as medicine. Geckos can be used as medicine, and their medicinal value is very high. When you examine the elements of the folklore in the movie, you'll notice venoms are hated from the beginning with a horrible reputation, and the last surviving full venom is the lizard, the gecko, as he's literally the least toxic person with the most redeeming value of all the Venom members. Pretty nice the way they set that up. Now back to the movie. I'm particularly effective in climbing. When it's fast and properly, it enables a man to climb like a lizard.
Thanks, Uncle Wei. You're number five, the centipede. Hong Wan Tung, and you must be the snake, number two. Oh my God, now centipede's number five? Numbering the members was pretty integral to the story, yet the voiceover team gets it wrong again. You were teacher's last pupil. Did he teach you our skills? He taught me some, but he said, what I learned wouldn't be enough. And he said, my techniques wouldn't be any match for you lot. Still, if I combined with one, we could beat the other four. Observation. The sixth Venom is literally a jack of all trades, but master of none. You mean you have... My Five Deadly Venoms Fan Theory The Scorpion was the first student the old master tasked with tracking Poison Clan members and taking them down if necessary. But at some point he became corrupted himself. Oh, let me tell you. Once an evil deed is done, then it never ends. It goes on. And it will go on forever. Why do I say that? For three reasons. First, he knew Toad's weak spot. The Scorpion! So he's here as well. The only other Poison Clan member who knew the other's weaknesses was the hybrid Venom. Remember how he broke down each member's vulnerability for the lizard? The teacher said the number one was called Centipede because he moved so fast. If you and I combine to attack him, we must attack him from the top and bottom. I'll take the legs and you the head. That should work. The teacher said that number two is extremely flexible. The head is right, the tail is left. When the tail's hit, then the head reacts. So we'll attack him from both sides at once and stop the head and tail from combining. Right. Left. <laughs> Teacher said, number three. The master told the hybrid Venom that he wasn't their match and needed one other Venom to defeat the others. So then, compared with the other pupils, you don't stand up. You're not really their match. That reason was based on his lack of full training. But in the reality of the story, even fully trained, none of those guys could beat each other one on one. Toad and Centipede were fighting to a standstill until Hybrid surreptitiously helped Toad out. <laughs> and Snake and Toad were going back and forth. Until Scorpion intervened for Snake. Scorpion probably got the same advice to team up with another Venom to beat the others, but instead he just manipulated one and two by playing Snake's loyalty on Centipede. Now look, I'm number one, the boss. I give the orders. And I say, get the money. All right. But you be careful. Remember, there's number three, that guy. Hmm. So what? And he basically hoodwinked Lizard and Toad while keeping tabs on everybody from his position as a constable. There's no problem. The court will free him. You know that. Go to court to be questioned? No way. Number two. Because of the type of mission he was on, the hybrid Venom assumes the role of a foolish hobo, someone who could fly way under the radar and go unnoticed almost anywhere. The Scorpion, on the other hand, became a constable, which gave him access to everything. Time to feed. Don't be dumb. And three, he knew who the hybrid Venom was and why he was there, even though this was the first time the other members are even seeing this guy. He's our castmate. Sent by teacher to hunt us down. Those details were little cool things that added depth to the story and character that was just quietly hanging in the background. Hell, I didn't even realize it until I did this review, and I've seen this flick dozens of times. You help me and we'll split the money. I had five people.
The Five Deadly Venoms stood out along with a handful of other martial arts films during the kung fu movie craze of the 70s. Zhang Che, who's been called the godfather of Hong Kong cinema, directed nearly 100 films in his distinguished career at Shaw Brothers Studios. From swordplay films, to kung fu films, to more modern period dramas, and lavish costume epics. Zhang was also an early pioneer of what would become known as the heroic bloodshed films, stories that emphasized brotherhood, loyalty, and betrayal, and several of his films were clear influences on the later work of directors Ringo Lam and John Woo. In the US, in the 1990s, Zhang had massive influence on future up-and-coming filmmakers such as Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez. In the early 70s, Zhang started featuring a troupe of actors and choreographers in his films. These guys would come to be known as the Venoms, or the Venom Mob, and they appeared in numerous Shaw films and were the main fight choreographers in all of their films. Martial arts movies are action porn, and like actual porn, usually when you watch it, you're just waiting for the next exciting scene more than paying attention to the story. The Five Venoms stood head and shoulders above many martial arts films of its time in that it actually had a decent level of intrigue that compelled you to watch the scenes between the action. In your run-of-the-mill martial arts movie, the action drives the story and it's emphasized more. Looking at the Five Venom structure, way more time is given to the story than the action scenes. The flashbacks, the imaginary fights, the corruption of officials, the tragic death of a hero, and betrayal of accomplices, not only was the story good enough to hold people's attention, it made you want to see how all that tension would be resolved. The movie would become very popular in the United States, achieving a cult status and dedicated fan base, and influencing popular culture in the decades following its release. If you're a martial arts movie buff, then The Five Deadly Venoms is essential viewing. If you agree with this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if I missed an observation, let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to support the channel and videos, feel free to donate through PayPal or Cash App. And don't forget to pick up some cool NQR gear. All the links are listed in the description below. And thanks for watching.